don't worry about it. Ah. It could be worse. Ah. Don't be so negative. Ah. Always look on the bright side. Ah. Everything happens for a reason. Ah. Think happy thoughts. Good vibes only. Um, so from the Washington Post, we have why should we ditch toxic positivity? Uh, would, would you care to read this or shall I? I shall read it. All right. All right. Toxic positivity is an invisible force causing people to become less successful, more selfish, and even more gullible. Hmm. Facts. That yeah. Was easy. I okay. mean, that too. But you know why we should ditch it so while cultivating things and uh, yeah, scrolling. Yep. Okay. Uh, so some examples of mm. toxic positivity phrases are, it'll all be fine. Mm. You should smile more. Don't worry about it. Ah. It could be worse. Ah. Don't be so negative. Ah. Always look on the bright side. Ah. Everything happens for a reason. Ah. Hey, stop! Why? Why? Ah. ah. Think happy thoughts. Good vibes only. Mm, live, laugh, love. No, I mean, specifically, I think one that I take to heart is it could be worse. Because uh, one specific thing that talks about positivity is I have a bad habit of this for myself. It's, you know, no matter what someone is going through, never compare someone's problems. Because what could be something small to you could be the end of the world for someone else. So mm. don't tell them, oh, it could be worse. It's like, no, this is the absolute worst. Like, mm. you know. That's very mature of you, I think. Mm -hmm. It's very developed. So it's just, you know, never tell someone it could be worse because you don't understand, like, the background. And like this, like the what's the word I'm looking for? The I, context, and the what context the of is. everything that they're feeling. So never tell someone it could be worse uh -huh. because, granted, things technically could be worse. But in basically saying, you know, your situation isn't that bad, you are completely invalidating everything they've gone through. Ah, like that is such an invalidating statement. True. All right. Well, I guess instead of saying these toxic phrases, we can replace them with, "How can I help you? Is everything okay?" What can I do to make it less stressful for you? This is tough. Can I do anything? It must be hard. Tell me about it. It's so hard to see all the good in the situation, but we'll make sense of it when we can. Oh, I like that one. I mm -hmm. like that one. Do you want to talk about it? I feel like that's always a good one. Mm -hmm. I know things can get really tough. I'm here for you. Validation. Mm. 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 Reassuring. Exactly. Because mm. it's like, you know, in a way, these state these uh, statements, you know, they acknowledge the negative, but they also try to provide some kind of positive in being like, I'm here for you. That's the thing. Yeah. So, those are actually, good. actually, I think what Diane said is a really, it's a really, really good point. Mm. Because everything on the toxic positivity phrases is something that a lot of people use like, oh, it could be worse. Mm -hmm. You know what? Um, You should think on the bright side. Mm -hmm. At least we have this silver lining. Blah, 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 blah. None of them are really addressing the situation. They're mm -hmm. just letting them pass by. Sweeping them under the rug. Yeah. And then we both know what happens when you keep sweeping things under the mm -hmm. rug. That rug piles up, becomes a mountain, and eats you alive. That makes sense to me. Correct. True. Mm. Actual cookie monster no, IRL. Yes. Mm. But I feel like maybe maybe slowly starting to replace these. Because I got to replace a lot of these as well. Because I use them as well. Mm. Maybe how can I help you? Is everything okay? What can I do to make it less stressful for you? I'm here for you. Uh, do you want to talk about it? Maybe if we switch over to these kinds of phrases, it could actually turn out a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And be, and we could be a better help to whoever we're talking to. Mm -hmm. I yeah. agree. Ladies and gentlemen, did you enjoy that episode? If you did, you can always listen to the full episodes on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And also do not forget to subscribe and follow this channel. Also, turn on notifications.